Francis Marshall, Senior Creator of Art at the Museum of London. It covers, I suppose, basically the visual arts, um, so paintings, prints, drawings, um, photography, and a certain amount of digital film. There are um, early paintings from about 1400 right through to photographs um, and light boxes, films from today. It's a big collection actually, I mean in terms of paintings, prints and drawings you're talking about over 20,000 objects and in terms of photography you're talking about over 150,000 um, items so um, to talk about its strength, in a sense its, its scope is its, its strength, um, there's such a huge wealth of material about London I guess. Um, in terms of the material that it covers, you, you, you get a sense of London's social history through the works. Uh, you get a sense of its um, fabric, in other words, what London looked like over a period of time. Paintings, Bits and Drawings is, is very well catalogued. Um, photography, simply because of its size, is less well catalogued. You know, we've got contact sheets, negatives, prints, prints of different sizes, and it's actually all the same image. Um, so that's just one of the extra complications of photography, I guess. Its use is, is as you know, broad as any collection is. Social history, history, art, visual arts in the widest sense. Art historians and um, art students um, use the collection pretty extensively. Historians more broadly use it as well. Uh, for instance, we recently did uh, a seminar with uh, postgraduate students from the Institute of Historical Research. You've got people like um, uh, lecturers from Oxford University writing books on Dickens and they want to see images, which, which may then end up being reproduced in a book. Some of it even is like people who say, uh, my grandfather was a painter, we believe he's got a painting in the museum, can we come and see it? So they will turn up and look at the grandfather's painting and that will be it. Effectively, they'll just want to see that painting and that, make that family connection. The proportion of the collection that's on display is, is, is tiny, it's a tiny fraction. All the oil paintings are online, um, so they're already there. Large sections of the prints and drawings are starting to go online now. There's still quite a long way to go, and with photography, um, we really are still scratching the surface. People who want access to the collection for research purposes should um, either telephone the museum, or they can email us through one of the inquiry emails and we'll make contact on there.